Hi, it's me, Allison, and welcome to my channel, Allison for Fitness. I am so glad you're here today. I don't have a workout for you right now, but when you're done watching this, I do recommend checking out Quick Arms and Shoulders or 10 Minute Abs. They're very effective and very quick. Um, there's several others. But today's video is actually going to be about how I became a fitness instructor. My friend Jenna had asked if I thought about making a video explaining it, and I was so happy she said that because I wanted to bring you videos explaining how I got some of the jobs that I've had. So I really wanted to share that with you, especially given our circumstances with quarantine now. Um, a lot of my jobs have been work from home or um, flexible things. Now, before we begin, if you can take a second and hit that subscribe button down below, that is free and it takes a second and it will notify you when I upload new videos if you click that bell. And also it'll allow me to reach more people. And if you know anybody who may like this, please share it. And at the end of it, if you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up. Um, so let's begin. So I didn't know how to go about becoming a fitness instructor and that's why I wanna share with you what I've learned. Now things have maybe changed a little bit. This was about four years ago. Um, and since then I've had other certifications, um, but it's a general idea. A little bit about me, I am a single mom of four daughters. <laughs> they are beautiful and amazing. Um, ages 10 to 19, 10, 12, 16, almost 17, and 19. Um, and I do not have a college degree. I did go to college to study sign language and interpersonal communications but I didn't finish because at the age of 21, I became a flight attendant. Uh, that'll be another video. I'll explain how I got that job. Um, I was also an in-flight recruiter, so I traveled around the country hiring flight attendants. I really liked that too. But I got married and when I became pregnant with my oldest daughter, I decided to quit. And then I got a job handling organ transplant flyouts. Um, that was an amazing job. I worked with some incredible people. Um, I did that for about eight years, mostly from home. And then I started a pretzel, chocolate covered pretzel and cookie business. I wanted to raise money for Relay for Life for the American Cancer Society. And that turned into a home-based business. And I made pretzels for baby showers, weddings, different events. Um, and then I had a children's book published, one that I had written when I was in high school. So I had it published in 2010 and I was mystery shopping. I was a mystery shopping editor. I started a pet sitting business, um, among other things. So being a fitness instructor is the type of job that you can do on the side. You can also make it a full-time job. So um, keep that in mind. And again, that's why I wished I would have done it sooner because I could have done it all along. Um, but I know now and I wanted to share it with you. And if you have any interest in doing this, I highly recommend you just do it. Um, there's no perfect time, but now if you're at home and you can take an online course, you can certainly do that. So I'm gonna tell you um, a little bit about my exercise background. I, my mom was an aerobics instructor, but I was pretty young and I couldn't attend her classes, but I, she always had a video on the TV and I loved you know, what I knew about exercise. And when I was 17, I started doing a video called Buns of Steel. Now, it was so good with Greg Smythe. And if you can see it or do it, I highly recommend this video. You'll have buns of steel. And then um, the firm Aerobic Workout with Weights is another one that I loved. So I didn't join a gym, I didn't need to. And back then there really weren't that many around. So I knew I was passionate about exercise and I loved how it made me feel and I felt strong. Um, and it just became part of my life and a huge hobby. And I remember watching the videos thinking how cool that job of, you know, being a fitness instructor seemed, but I had no idea how to go about it. And fast forward several jobs and four kids later, I used to get up at five in the morning to work out, but I got to the point where I wasn't really doing that because I was busy doing other things. So I did join a gym and I walked into the group fitness room and I was hooked. 
the music was loud and powerful, the mirror was big, the weights, there were so many different kinds, the people were motivating, and I loved the atmosphere of the group fitness room. And then I went into a spinning class and I hopped on a bike and I fell in love with that too because I grew up riding a bike, so for me, it brought back the childhood nostalgia of being on my bike. And I went home and I researched spinning and I realized the benefit for heart rate training. So I did everything I could to learn as much about spinning as I possibly could. And I had a heart rate monitor and I realized the benefit for me. I could run long distances and not feel winded and it was amazing. Um, and I remember being in different classes, looking at the instructors thinking, what a cool job that must be. So one day there was a um, advertisement for a spinning workshop and it was 45 minutes away and I realized I could sign up and go. And I was thinking this is my chance. So I paid the money, I attended the workshop. They give you, uh, everyone's different, but this spinning program gave me a workbook to study beforehand and then it was a one day, eight hour workshop. And I met the master instructor, some other people who became friends, and it was a really cool experience. You learn all about the safety features, form, the history of the company, and then you do a master class. We were on the bike throughout the day for a long time, which was amazing. And he took us through coaching and everything you need to know to become an instructor. And at the end of the day, there was a test and I passed and I was certified. And I was very lucky because the, one of the gyms that I went to was looking for an instructor and they had liked me, which was an honor that they offered me a job. All of those places like spinning has a job board so you can always find work. Gyms post that they're looking for someone. You can post that you're a certified instructor. Um, if you're going to a gym and they know you, definitely let them know because you can always be on the sub list and you can have you know one class a week or more. It's just there's so much opportunity. Now spinning is unique because you need a spinning bike. Um, a lot of the other classes that I teach as long as you have access to equipment, you can take them anywhere. So keep that in mind. But I'm gonna tell you about my next certification, which was the Group Exercise Instructor, or Group X. Um, I went through a company called AFA, which is Aerobics and Fitness Association of America. There are others, um, not to say one is better than the other, I just chose AFA. They're very reputable, and it's all online, which is perfect for now, so if you're at home looking for something, a new craft, definitely check out any website, Google Group Exercise Instructor. Um, Ace is another amazing company too, I've heard. And this is all online, so you'll get a program and you'll get videos. I have a textbook. Some places don't do that anymore. You'll get a study guide, um, different modules to study, and there's no set time. Well, usually you have within two years to finish, but they say it's different for everyone. Um, me, as a busy working mom of four, it was a little bit harder to get through quickly, but I did it, so so can you. Now, what I will recommend is whatever program you choose. I was making note cards one day and my daughters were making fun of me because they were like, how old are you, mom? Because that's so old fashioned with the paper index cards. They recommended, and I forgot about this, Quizlet is amazing it's online you can get an app on your phone or ipad or a computer and if you type in afa group x instructor people have already made the cards for you but i do recommend if you choose some like a grouping of study cards go over them and make sure that the answers are correct because you don't want to be studying and get to realize that it was the wrong answer so either make your own through Quizlet or use some that have been created, but double check. Um, that was what helped me finally get to the point where I was ready, because it's a lot of memorization with anatomy and physiology, lots about the human body, health related things, so and exercise related things. So plan on memorizing. There is uh, an instructor along the way. You can always contact people for help. Study groups on Facebook, so much out there to help you. Um, so that's what I did. I got my group exercise instructor and that allows me to teach all different modalities of exercise. 
which is wonderful with dumbbells, a barbell, anything. So um, keep that in mind too. Now, CPR is not always required with every certification, but I highly recommend getting a CPR card. Just contact the American Red Cross. A lot of gyms hold trainings there because their instructors have to get recertified or renewed. So get your CPR card. Um, it was required for my group exercise instructor, so you have to show proof. Um, it, you can never be too safe because you're dealing with so many people with, from all walks of life and keeping them safe and healthy is your number one goal. Now, you're not a doctor. You can't prescribe. You'll learn all about that. Um, and always recommend if someone's not feeling right, definitely tell them to go see a doctor. But if someone's having a heart attack or any emergency situation, you want to have that training to help them in an emergency. Then after my group exercise, I got a bar certification. Now that just was a specialty of just bar, which I loved. That was a two day class. Um, and then I got Les Mills certified through with body pump and CX works. If you're familiar with Les Mills, that was incredible training. Um, and then I have a TRX certification. I also have, this is pretty cool, I found this one online. It's called O oh Baby Fitness and it's a prenatal postnatal certification. I love pregnancy, babies, all that. So um, it made sense for me to have that. And I haven't done it yet, but my goal is to have a class with pregnant women or postnatal. And I even spoke with my doctor's office a while back um, my OBGYN because they see pregnant people and I asked if I had a flyer if I could leave it you know and then pregnant women can see that you offer a class and they can contact you or I thought about going into a maternity ward and maybe leaving a flyer because you get a packet of papers when you're a new mom and they'll see that there's classes offered so that was one really cool thing and then I have a drumstick workout certification there's one for adults and kids and I've taught that in schools, which is really cool. As you can see, if you're interested in a certain type of exercise, there's usually a training for it, like Zumba, um, all different kinds of things. So whatever you're interested in, either get the group exercise instructor or see what the specialized classes are. Many of them are offered online, especially now, because nobody can go to a workshop. But um, if you can go live and it's nearby, I highly recommend that. Just because you're gonna, if you have a question, you can raise your hand and ask it right away. You'll make friends. Um, it's just nice to be there. And then of course they can watch your form and you can see firsthand. Um, but online works too. And as long as you're motivated to study, you can get it done. As far as expenses go, most of the workshops are anywhere from 150 to 350. It just depends what it is. I, I don't quote me because this was years ago, but I wanna say spinning was about $300. Um, same with Les Mills classes, bar about the same, 250 to 350. Now, um, the online classes are sometimes about the same. AFA Group X was more, and you can make payments on those as well, AFA. Um, so that's more than that, but that's a much bigger program, more material over a longer period of time. Then, obviously you pay for your own CPR certification, unless a gym is willing to pay for it for you. Um, but you usually you work for yourself. A gym may have you work for them, but you're a sole proprietor or an independent contractor. So keeping that in mind when you do your taxes, um, and then any equipment that you purchase for your own use, you will purchase. Um, so there's that expense, and then any gas to and from work, um, recertification every two years, generally speaking. They'll tell you when you get your initial certification when you need to recertify, and that's just continuing education. So you can do that um, sometimes, like my spinning certification was renewed because I had my TRX certification or my Les Mills body pump, you know, so they take into consideration other trainings that you've had and apply it. So, and then there's usually a recertification fee, but it's not, it's not bad. And then, um, so you've got those expenses. And then the other cool thing is you can teach at a gym, you can teach to schools. I've taught in nursing homes, a chair yoga class. Um, there's, it, I highly recommend going to 
your Parks and Rec department in your city for community education, that's a great resource. You can choose your class, put it in their um, catalog, and then um, you can make more money, obviously, working for yourself. Usually gyms pay you per class, and that can range, there's probably a wide range of how much they'll pay. Maybe anywhere from 15 to 30 something a class or per participant. Um, but all of that is so individualized, but um, you can make it a full-time job like me. There were months where I was making, or teaching about 100 classes a month. Right before quarantine, I was at about 70. I just had reworked my schedule. I wanna say maybe about 70 a month. Um, it is a lot. Sometimes people think I'm crazy, but I do have a ton of energy and I love exercise and helping people. So it worked for me. Um, and you can make whatever you can of it. That's the beautiful thing. So um, the other thing is there's some perks. You can sometimes get a free gym membership if you're teaching for a gym. You can also, um, there's this really cool website. Check it out, it's called Pro Fitness Travel. Um, there's others like it, but they will offer you um, all, to an all-inclusive resort if you agree to teach a class. So you can teach like in the Bahamas or some amazing place and they'll provide you a room. Um, so that's cool. That's a, on my to-do list. I really want to do that. Um, another cool thing is a lot of the groups like spinning has an event every year in a different city and you can go for the weekend and have some lectures and master classes and get to know instructors from all over the world, which is super cool. Someday I plan to do that. Les Mills has one. Um, it's really cool. Lots of community involved. There's also lots of resources, Facebook, Instagram. I mean, you can connect with an instructor group, um, which is great. If you ever have a question about something, usually you can throw it out there and five minutes later, there'll be hundreds of answers. So you're never alone um, and you're always constantly learning. That's the beautiful thing. There's always some studying that I could be doing or learning um, and then, Social media is huge right now. Because the gyms are closed here, um, everything is going virtual. I started my YouTube channel. You can certainly do that. You can have live classes. You can do your entire career online at this point. It's amazing. Um, now nutrition is different. So there are some nutrition coaching certifications. I'm actually finishing one up now through NASM, National Academy of Sports Medicine. It's a nutrition coaching certification. But where I live in my state, I am not allowed to give nutrition advice for money because we have strict guidelines and you need to be a dietitian or nutritionist. So see what your rules are per state. But if you can get any type of nutrition training, um, it because it goes so importantly with fitness, you definitely wanna have that knowledge because if someone's coming to you and they're like, I've been in your class for months and I'm not losing any weight, you wanna at least guide them on some options of changing their diet and things to look for. Um, but again, every state is different, all the rules are different. And then personal training is also different. That's a completely different certification. My program is also through NASM, National Academy of Sports Medicine. Now, if you look online, NASM and AFA are related now, they're connected. So you may see that and uh, it's basically the same company. So that's much more time consuming, more extensive, more information, which is great. And that can be done all online, but when you go to take the test for that, at least through NASM, you have to go somewhere for the exam. It's not done in your home. So it's always close enough that you can drive to it. And when you're getting to the point of your studying where you're almost ready, just contact them and say, hey, I'm about to take the test. Is there one coming up? And then you can do it that way. But ACE, again, has another fabulous program from what I've heard. And there's so many. So not that one is better than the other. I just am telling you from my own knowledge what I did, but there are, you really, you could do research and find many options. Um, but I really like AFA and NASA. And then, um, so personal training is different. Yoga, completely different too. I've looked into it, but I just don't have the time that it takes right now or the money. It's, um, you have to put, I don't wanna quote this, but it's lots and lots of hours um, for yoga. 
And then Pilates is also a little bit more extensive, but certainly doable. Um, so just depending on what you want to teach and how you want to go about it, just know that you basically work for yourself. You can set your own schedule. You can do it in different venues, um, which is wonderful. You can do parties, you can do all kinds of things. So it's one of those jobs where you can always use, um, it, it's so important. Fitness is so important. Um, so it's great. If you ever thought about it, don't wait until the right time. There may never be the right time, but you can grow with this. So get your certification. Jenna, you've got to do this. I've been telling you that for a while now. Um, but if you have any questions that I haven't covered, please comment down below. I'll definitely answer them. And when you get certified, let me know what you wound up going with um, and make a YouTube channel and we can work out together. So that is all. I know that was a lot of information, but I'm so happy you listened. Thank you. I hope you learned something. And um, just remember too, there may be millions of instructors, but there's not one like you. And you can teach the same exact class as someone else. And it will not be the same because you have something unique that you bring to it. And this world needs more amazing instructors. And um, I'm so excited for you. So stay tuned for my other videos. And I can't wait to share that with you. Go work out, drink some water, have a great rest of your day or night, and I will see you back here real soon. Thanks.